Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're looking at the Sky Q Hub. I've had a lot of internet problems in my house because I live in a new build and fibre's not available. Well, I have been here for around six months now, but they still haven't put the fibre cables down. So I'm still running on the old copper one and I'm with Sky. Now I've tried, uh, they gave me, I had a white router, they gave me the black router, I've had boosters, all sorts, but the Wi-Fi is not that good. So what I've, I rang them up and they, they said to me, you, uh, we're giving the Sky Q Hub now to customers who don't have fiber. So I said, okay, I'll give it a go. Uh, they charged me, the other routers and the boosters, I didn't have to pay for that. I paid 15 pounds for this. But Sky are really good at negotiating because I've been with them for a long time. I've been with them for 18 years. But I thought I'll give this a go and any of you that are interested in it, we'll see what it comes with see how it works and then I might do a follow-up video to see how things are going with it. Anyway, let's see what you get with it first. So you get the power socket, power socket, sorry, the power plug. Then you get the wire goes into the back of the router and then into your microfilter, the Sky Master microfilter. So you put that wire in there and the phone and there you get another phone socket. Now I won't be using any of these because uh, the engineer that come to put the socket in my house is is setting me up so i'm i'm all ready for fiber is is put is put the face plate on move that to the side let's look at the hub itself case on it move that nothing else so it's got password and stuff on there i changed my passwords anyway and then it's got four rubber feet at the bottom Got your fun in there the, the uh, now the ones that i've been using before they were just single band the 2.4 gigahertz this one on the other hand is dual so it's 2.4 and the 5 now 2.4 is the most one that's used but when it gets too busy it jumps over to 5 so hopefully this should help me i don't know if it'll solve my problem but it should help me and we're looking at the front sky and then these lights when they're green it means it'll be working so that says power internet wireless it's got a wps button there at the back that's where you put the broadband wire what i just showed you and it's got um, that's where the, the socket goes reset button and then it's it only has two ethernet ports my older routers had four this has two so if you do need more you've got to buy obviously the little sockets you get for putting on extra wires i'm not a specialist when it comes to this kind of technology but i thought i'll share it with you guys if any of you lot are struggling like i am so let's see where we can take it because wi-fi repeaters they choose like they uh, from my experience the research i've done uh, sorry about my phone the from my experience they choose lessen uh, the, uh, the Wi-Fi repeaters they just have your internet so I wouldn't I wouldn't really be going for them so this is it now let's see how it works what I'll do is uh, I forgot to mention the maximum speed uh, upload speeds uh, no sorry the maximum download speeds in my house are up to 17 meg but uh, on Wi-Fi I just did a test on speed.net I, I will make you wait to go through all that I did it and it was 7 uh, 7.6 download and upload were 0.6 or something really rubbish so what i'll do is i'll connect this on and then i'll do another test on speed net uh, and let's see if it's any good or not so guys as you can see all three lights are lit up green now and i'll just show you the back if i can focus there so i have the face plate so i didn't need them with the sockets what they gave I've plugged it directly in and I did do a speed test on my internet and it was 9.6 so before with the other router it was 7.4 and this were 9.6 download speeds so it's good at the moment as I said before I will be doing a follow-up video to this video any questions you have Please let me know in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon.